Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy, 650 Eep here, and inside the F-250, I've got a box of carbon fiber goodies sent to us by our good buddy, Miami Manny at Moto Million, for our 2022 BMW S1000 RR. I'm going to head up to Sills Motor Sales, and we're going to have Zach the Master Mechanic install it onto our motorcycle, but before he does that, he has to complete the Brembo braking system upgrade onto our fantastic machine. Let's go up to Sills and see what Zach the Master Mechanic is up to. Hey, what's up? We're back and we got some parts. Let's check them uh -huh. out and see what we got going on. Parts are good. So uh, we got a brake line. Not 100% sure it's the correct one, but it's longer. We'll see if we can make it work. Okay. Hopefully we can get that uh, installed today and we'll get that front brake system let out. Looks like we got some cool and different rear sets from uh, Alpha Racing. I haven't opened them up yet. Let's take a sneak peek. I'm guessing this bracket must be needed to use the exhaust that we have. Well, they're looking like some high quality stuff as always. Yeah. Nice uh, puzzle pieces, as rear sets always are, but yeah. cool, something different. Very adjustable. Look at all these spots you can put the peg. Wow. Wow, yeah. That's the most I've seen in a while. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So we'll get them installed at some point. Let's see what's in the big box. Well, this is looking pretty cool. Wow full one-piece front nose. Oh yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yes. Never seen one of them. Oh yeah. Go has a windshield green mount in it. Yeah. And still need the cover to go over top of stuff, but mm -hmm. no uh, side panels are gonna be needed. Cause usually, remember, oh, we didn't show, but we're doing a different fitting. These pieces come off separately usually, so. Yes. This is all one piece. That's pretty neat. Beautiful. Yeah, looks great. Full six. Nice. Only the best. Yep. Front, Front fender. fender. Beautiful. No reflectors. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Good to go. Nothing to peel off. That we know will fit because we already have the carbon fiber tail section. Yes. But these we've definitely never used. All set, ready to go for winglets, mm -hmm. which I have, and we can put the badges in them. Nice. That is going to look. Pretty sweet. It does not have that. In. That's kind of weird. Well, I guess there's that other piece that goes up there, but yeah, yeah, that's gonna be cool. All right, new brake line fits a lot better. Yes. Just gotta tighten it up at both ends, and I think we gotta tighten the other one. I'm not sure that I ever tightened it. All right, that should be good. Double check up here. That should be good. All right, everything's nice and tight. Should grab a shorter wrench here. Just a little turn. All right, that should be good. Yeah, see how it gets this kind of weird curl in yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's because of how we have it twisted down here. It's not gonna hurt anything for now. We'll be okay. Just gonna use BMW brake fluid. Nice and bright yellow. Watch it fill up our hose here. Slowly. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the brake bleeder. We're gonna have to do this a bunch of times. Okay. Should be able to watch the fluid level drop as it's sucking brake fluid through the system. So now we have this system, all has fluid in it. If we just pump the lever a bunch of times, we'll see it's gonna drop and we should wind up, this tube here should wind up completely full at some point. And then we should start getting what feels like a decent brake lever. Always have to make sure that you have fluid in your reservoir, otherwise you'll just be adding more air in, which is no good. So now as I'm pumping the lever, you see the fluid level isn't really dropping? Yeah. That's fine. That means we just got to go through and get the rest of the air out that can't make its way out the top. 
If we didn't have any other way to do it, we could probably just zip tie this brake lever overnight and it would all wind up coming up through here. And as long as there's enough brake fluid in the reservoir, it would just bleed itself. But we want to speed that process up, so we're just going to go back over to the far caliper, open the bleeder up, pump some brake fluid through until we don't see any air, and then do the same thing on the other side and do the same thing up at the master cylinder. And we should be good to go, unless we have air trapped in the ABS box, in which we'll have to plug in and shake the ABS box. Oh yeah, that's right. It uses a weird size. Get up with that wrench here, this. It's a seven millimeter bleeder instead of an eight. It's kind of odd. So you can see all that air. Yeah. That was that's what was giving us a mushy lever feel. So we'll do this until no more air can be seen. I think a couple more times over here, and then we'll move over to the other side. Oh yeah, now you can see there's no more air bubbles that time. Yeah. Oh, there found one more. All right, we'll leave this side at that. So even though I have the vacuum bleeder hooked up, I'm not using the vacuum function. I'm just using it to catch the fluid. I'm bleeding it by hand. I just feel it gives a better bleed at the end because this pulls the brake fluid through so fast, it actually can leave some tiny little air bubbles in it. All right, that looks pretty air free. This one's always a pain. You almost need a third hand because the hose wants to fall off. And we have to open and close this. So sometimes I'll just hit that with my side. That looks pretty good. So we should. Hopefully now. Oh, yep. We got a nice, starting to get some lever feel. Put this lever up all the way out in the farthest position because that'll move the most fluid for us. And we'll just do one final bleed. And then I'll put a zip tie on the lever overnight anyway that'll get any residual air out and that brake lever will feel awesome for the rest of its life. And if you can't figure it out while watching, I don't know if we've actually gone over this before. So what I'm doing is I'm not pumping the lever and holding it either because that pushes the brake fluid through very fast. It can also leave the little tiny air bubbles. Uh, I'll move it just barely in and then I open the bleed fitting and I push the brake lever in slowly and then close the bleed fitting and then release the lever. If, you, if I were to just open this and keep pumping the lever, it would actually allow air back in unless you have the speed bleeders, which we did put on the last bike. Uh, but you do have to do it in a certain sequence, otherwise you will let air in. And now we got a really good feeling brake lever right here. We'll do the top one more time just for good measure. Even though it didn't have any air last time, I doubt it found any. Basically what I found with brakes is set aside a bunch of time, have a squirt bottle of water close by. You're probably gonna make a mess, don't feel bad about it. And uh, just be patient. Sometimes motorcycle systems do not move a lot of fluid. So if you don't have the vacuum bleeder, it takes a lot. It would have took a lot to pump that system full of fluid with us just pumping the lever. Uh, the vacuum system really did help in that facet. So I wouldn't even need this lever all the way out. We'll bring it like halfway in so I don't need too long a zip tie. I have found that you need a rag around the grip, otherwise the zip tie will leave a mark on it. We'll bring it out a little bit farther. And basically, you, I'm just gonna apply the front brake lever and then hold it with a zip tie. And all that does is it keeps the passageway open up into here. So air always wants to go up. Overnight, the air is just gonna find its way up and the lever is gonna feel that much better in the morning. Nice. All air has escaped and you're not sitting here bleeding for hours and hours. Yeah. I, would've, I would've been fine letting this bike go the way that the lever felt. But since we have the time, we'll just let it sit overnight and it'll be that much better. Sweet. Basically, I've learned all this just from dealing with brake systems for the manufacturers and evil recalls and stuff. And BMW had this terrible ABS system from like 02 to 0, they made it till 2010. It was servo assisted brakes that had like 20 bleed spots and it'd get air. And so I found different ways to get air. If you really can't get a system, you could take a syringe and back feed it, feed the brake fluid through backwards and push it out the top. Cause then it'll push all the air out. Uh, just some kind, some tricks and stuff like that. But this was pretty straightforward. All right, so now that we got the front brakes bled out, we can 
also apply the front brake lever and tighten up the calipers. I just popped the zip tie off so I could roll it off the bench and clean off all the brake fluid. But we'll put it back on. Another good thing about zip tying it overnight, if you have the time frame, is uh, it will, it'll show up if there's any leaks. Ah. If anything's not quite tight enough, if one of your crush, crush washers didn't seal quite correctly, yeah. it'll, uh, you'll notice because the fluid will be a little bit low or you might see a puddle under it and then you can fix the leak so that it doesn't become an issue while you're riding. Because it's never good to lose your brakes while riding. Just got clearance for our cooler. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. But man, I wish we had the side panels, then we yeah. could really see what it looked like up against the tank, but we yeah. still only have the stock ones. But this stuff looks like it fits pretty well, so it's just gonna come back off because it's going off the paint. Yeah. Unless he wants to see it on the bike to line it up, but I don't know what the plan is with that. Beautiful. Cool. In the windshield business. Yes. All right. I think that pretty much gets everything fitted then. Yeah. That will be shipped off to paint. Cool. Let's take it outside and see what it looks like in the sunlight. Okay. There it is out in the sun. Looks good. Yeah. Lots of carbon. Yeah. This calipers really look sweet. Oh yeah. Yes, they do. Nickel plated. Yeah. And don't forget guys, it's gonna have a full carbon fiber subframe, which is why that's not installed on the bike right now. And that's gonna have a HP4 colorway into it. Yeah, Yeah, we're just mocking this up so that it'll get ready to go get painted. Mm -hmm. And uh, seems like for the most part, everything fit. I had to adjust a couple of things, but that's totally normal with yes. fitting carbon fiber body panels. So cool. Yeah, we got front brakes and we got some body work mm -hmm. on the bike. We nice. actually did something. I like Moving it. Moving along, right? Moving along, yeah. So I'll get some coolant back in it so we can hopefully get this thing running soon and get some wheels on it and be able to ride it again. Yes, sir. But uh, I think we had some fun stuff for you today. Yep. And uh, we'll look forward to you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Thanks, Zach. All right, you heard the man. Moving along. You can still win this motorcycle by joining our Patreon family. Information how to do that is down below in the description. This amazing bike is going to be beautiful. It's going to weigh little to nothing when we're done with it. And somebody is going to be extremely happy to win this motorcycle. This one, season 10 of the New Bike Build Series, is going to be the best one yet. All right, guys, thanks for viewing. We'll catch you next time on the 650EB YouTube channel.